out there in internet radio land. This is Dave Jones, the NBC guy, with your prepper tip of the day. I'm in the office. You hear the squeaky chair? Look, you got to dry fire your weapons. What? Everybody tells me not to dry fire. Look, they are mechanically designed to do 50 to 100,000 times firing, okay? So dry firing them is not going to wear out that mechanism. Trust me, if you're not, if you're not going out every weekend and putting two or 300 rounds through that weapon, it is not going to hurt it at all. The utility that you are going to get from carrying it, drawing it, f- aiming, firing is way, way more important than trying to save that mechanism from being dry fired. Okay, and you could put a dime on the end of your barrel and if you and keep your sight picture and draw I mean slowly trigger control is what you want a monkey can align the sights trigger control is what you want you want to be able to squeeze that trigger think about it it's the only moving part of the weapon that trigger because once it goes through its mechanism that bullet is launched and gone you can't affect it anymore So you have to get trigger control down, whatever it is to pull that trigger. And if you put a dime on the end of your barrel and it doesn't fall off as you're squeezing it, squeezing it. It was an exercise that we used to do with a revolver and we would do it in double action which means you pulled the cylinder, rotated, and the hammer fell, and the dime never fell off the end of the barrel. So, dry fire away, PBN family. Dry fire away. Get used to carrying your weapon, however you're going to carry it. Get used to the mechanism of it. The reason the Israelis... Defense force is so good, and uh, they they send the weapons home with the people. You have to have the utility of carrying it, holding it, firing it. You have to know what works and what don't work. So that's my prepper tip for the day. Do not fear the dry fire.